bought out the remaining shares of Miller Coors to make us uh, Molson Coors again, which uh, actually gives us access now to over 40 breweries internationally. So we're going to be mostly focusing on Coors brands today since we are here in Golden. And yeah, I'm going to take you around and show you how we do the whole process. Oh yeah, we have that on tap in our lounge today too. Mementos from cups, all the ceramics that we were producing. I'm pretty sure Prohibition is a Hard right, time for a brewer. <laughs> Help yourself, yeah. Uh, it's water, barley, cereal grains, and hops. We start off with water because it's the largest, most important ingredient we use. Adolf Coors actually chose Golden because of the quality of our water. He said wa the water makes the beer, and all of our water is 100% naturally filtered. It's never chemically treated, never put through any kind of man based filter. It's filtered through sediment and rock, and then it's stored in the Golden Aquifer. 
And uh, we have a team of ditch runners who go along the entire waterway before it gets there just to be consistently quality testing it to make sure that there's nothing bad in there that's going to contaminate. In the world, what that means is we need to produce our beer we make right here in the valley. The exact mirror image over here is not quite the same overlook, but we use uh, copper because it's a good conductor of heat. It's going to really hold that heat once it gets hot, and it's also not to leach any metallic taste of the beer. Out. So, uh, Alright, so the barley you guys saw downstairs starts off looking like this. This is the raw barley. This is the finished malted barley. This is called grist. This is how we start the whole brewing process. Grist. Grist. We do have some enemies to our Coors family of beers. They are heat, light, and age. Heat, we always cold filter all of our products. We never heat pasteurize anything. Uh, light, we always use the dark amber or the brown bottles, uh, never the green or the clear bottles because the less light you have interacting with your beer, the better off it's gonna be. If you allow too much sunlight to interact with your beer, it becomes what's called sunstruck. And that's uh, when it becomes skunky. The sun's actually gonna change those hop oils just slightly and kind of give it that off skunky taste. Brett gathering sample. And what would you like, sir? Which would you recommend? I would recommend the banquet. Banquet and Light is where we talk about Banquet and Light a little bit. They are two main flagship beers. Thank you. Uh, banquet awesome. was the first beer we made with 100% Rocky Mountain water. So if we made it anywhere else in the country, we'd be lying. Look at that, thank you. So a lot of people don't know that we made Killian's.